In this part of the tutorial, we will guide you on how to code the UI button created in the previous tutorial. The UI button image and a blank text document have been placed in a new folder named Web Button. Now open the text document and type in the HTML tag. Here we are defining the CSS in the starting of the code by putting it in the head tag. For this purpose, open the head tag, place the style tag in it, and define the ID of the button by placing the pound sign or hash mark before its name. Now enter the following lines, display, colon, space, block, semicolon, width, colon, space, 150px, semicolon, height, colon, space, 50px, semicolon, this will set the button placeholder in a block style of 150 pixels width and 50 pixels height. Note that we are setting the height equaling half of the image as we want to show the upper part of the button here. Once this is done, type in background colon space URL open parentheses web underscore button dot PNG close parentheses space N O hyphen repeat space zero space zero semicolon. This will set the button's image over the link with a specified position. Now we define the mouse roll over image by typing in the following lines A colon hover hash mark web underscore button open brackets background colon space URL open parentheses web underscore button dot png close parentheses space n o hyphen repeat space zero space minus 50 px semicolon close brackets this will set the same image however this time when the mouse rolls over it the lower part of the button will be displayed close the style and the head tag and move over to the body of the HTML page by entering the body tag. Now define an anchor tag by putting the same ID as given previously and the hyper reference to the page where you want to navigate through the button. Once done, close the anchor tag and complete the HTML code by closing the body tag and the HTML tag. Now save this file and name it web underscore button dot html. Once done, open the file and there you go, a button working properly on an HTML page.